I turned to photography in a full, in a, in a big way and for three, three years I struggled. I really struggled. I did not have money to put in my kinetic Honda. My assistants used to come in cars. My assistants used to come in cars and I used to be on a kinetic Honda. When the petrol used to get over, I could not take the kinetic Honda and push it into the petrol pump. I used to take it home. I used to go to my mother and borrow the money. So those days are not bad days. They are only days that make you stronger. They are only days that make you appreciate who you are today. Like I'm sitting over there in that chair and closing my eyes and re rewinding the film of my life. Those days come inside my head when I see all this wonderful thing happening. This great institute happening. These great visionaries who are making things happen for you. I'm not saying that it's going to be easier for you just because you all have equipment. But what is difficult is the resolve to make sure that whatever you do and however you do it, you will do it with great passion and great honesty, with the will to be different and the will to give much, much more than you are earning. In my case, I earn much, much more than I gave in that particular case. But that is what you have to have in your minds and hearts today. So when I am emotional about it, it is because I feel privileged and chosen. <coughs> I went on for a few years and started doing theatre. That's where I met the great Sudhir Joshi, the doyen of Marathi theatre. He taught me so much. He taught me the language and he taught me culture and he taught me art and he taught me how to act. He taught me friendship, passed away five years ago, I'm um, half a man. And then after theatre, after paying my dues in theatre, I got a break in a film which you may have or may not have heard of. It's called Munna by MBBS. <laughs> At the age of 44, I had to start paying my dues all over again. And I feel that in a few years, it's time for me to pay my dues again, to reinvent myself, to do something that my family, people like you, you, and most importantly, my country will be proud of. I want to make a contribution in some way or the other, not as an individual, because that is a very short-sighted approach. These people are not making their contribution to education as individuals. But as an Indian in the international arena for people to turn around and say, this guy, actor, photographer, director, whatever, comes and hails from India. This is my next vision. I continue to act till then and be as humble as I can, as possible, as possible. But till such time that I have to reinvent myself and start paying my dues, I know that there will be somebody in Norway, in some corner of the world, who will help me out if my intentions of what I do are honorable and honest. I'd like to end today, I was told, 